These third ends are clumsy, not stable, and the magnifier is pretty useless from my point of view. So let's get rid of these and look at the new Koto third ends I just received today for a review. Product is very well packaged. The instruction sheet are for several types of third hand from the manufacturer. And the assembly of the arms appears to be a very simple thing to do. These are the rubber feet for the base plate. The alligator clamps are made of stainless steel. The flexible arms are made of metal and the base of each one is magnetic. The magnets at the base of the arms are quite strong. You see that I have to apply some force to separate them. And that's a good thing. The base is made of strong steel and weight around 3 pounds. Again, it's a good thing. I don't want the base to move around when I am soldering. The other third ends that I was using before were always moving around. I don't want this anymore. I separate the rubber feet with a cutter. Each rubber feet has a 3M sticker. I place four of them under the base plate. Now it's time to screw an alligator clamp to each arm. I am sure you can feel the strong magnetic force when the arm is placed on the base plate. I can easily flex the arm the way I want them. And the base of the arm do not move on the plate and the base plate remains in place. I am a little bit disappointed by the alligator clamp. I would have wanted the jaws to be larger. They are still larger enough to clamp a 5mm jack female connector that I use often in my sci-fi panel build. Aside from the alligator clamp, I like the product so far. The arms are strong and made of steel and remains flexible. The base plate is weighted and don't move around. And it is large enough, I can place the four arms anywhere I want on the base plate, thanks to their magnetic feet. It's a big change for my next soldering projects. I am sure it will make my life easier. Thanks for watching, and don't hesitate to leave a comment below.